Hello students. So today we'll begin with our next session. Page number 40. Third paragraph. But just what in the world are you doing? Said the father. The daughter stood there quite embarrassed and hardly knew what to answer. Now, as we have uh, studied earlier that uh, Edla Wilmanson, she didn't allow tramp to go from there so certainly this uh, iron master he became very much angry and he started asking what are you doing in this world you should not be there and the way you said that he will stay here and he will not go and you have closed the door so it is just embarrassing and here daughter also she quietly stood there and she was also feeling embarrassed because she have only called the person she have invited him that morning she had left so felt so happy when she thought how home like and Christmassy she was going to make things for the poor hungry rich she could not get away from the idea all at once and that was why she had interceded for the vagabond now the only reason behind this was that she was feeling very happy since morning because she was preparing so many kind of cuisines to just like give him feast and uh, she was making everything ready so she is feeling very much like even sad also so that was the reason she interceded that vagabond will not leave the place but he will be there for that christmas eve so i am thinking of this stranger here said the young girl he walks and walks the whole year along and there is probably not a single place in the whole country where he is welcome and can feel at home she said that i'm like strange strangely she said that i'm thinking of this stranger only that you see whole year he's walking walking and walking along but nobody is welcoming him and he's wandering here and there and he is not getting any like home like feel anywhere so if we could give what is the problem wherever he turns he is chased away always he is afraid of being arrested and cross-examined i should like to have him enjoy a day of peace with us here just one in the whole year so father i just wanted that he could enjoy at least one single day with us here like he's a whole day he's wandering here and there and whole year he's wandering so i just wanted him to be here and just enjoy one single day with us the iron master mumbled something in his bed he could not bring himself to oppose her and he just didn't wanted to oppose her whatever she said somehow it was correct it was all a mistake of course she continued but anyway i don't think we ought to chase away a human being whom we have asked to come here and to whom we have promised christmas cheer now she said whatever it is father we have called him we have invited him so let him be here and let him continue at least like a human being we must react and uh, let him stay here as we have promised him to like give a Christmas cheer so that we have to provide you do preach worse than a parson said the iron master I only hope you won't have to regret this now iron master he was very much angry so he said you are sounding like worse than a parson parson means priest so I don't think now in the last I am just having only a kind of hope that you must not regret so the young girl took the stranger by the hand and led him up to the table now young girl took him and he she just made her made him sit near the table now sit down and eat she said for she could see that her father had given in now because father have left so she uh, told him the tramp you please sit down and have your meal the man with the rat trap said not a word he only sat down and helped himself to the food now he sat there and he started having his food time after time he looked at the young girl who had interceded for him why had she done it what could the crazy idea be now he is thinking in his mind why this girl she interceded and she just tried to uh, like save me what was the reason behind this and she what cra crazy idea could be there after that christmas eve at ramjo passed just as it always had the stranger did not cause any trouble because he did not because he did nothing but sleep the whole forenoon he lay on the sofa in one of the guest rooms and slept 
at one stretch now he did not disturb anybody and he was also sitting there he just slept on the sofa and he stretched his legs and he started sleeping and whole day he was sleeping at noon they woke him up so that he could have his share of the good christmas fare but after that he slept again now means he was having his meal and again he went to sleep so that was his condition whole day he slept only for taking his meal he was waking up it seemed as though for many years he had not been able to sleep as quietly and safely as here at ramjo and he was so safe and so like safely he was sleeping as if no trouble is there so he was that much kind of happy in the evening when the christmas tree was lighted they woke him up again and he stood for a while in the drawing room blinking as though the candle light hurt him but after that he disappeared again now they called him when they were lighting up the candle uh, like in the christmas tree so that time they called and he came there and he was feeling as if that light lighting is also hurting his eyes in that manner because whole day he was sleeping so and after lighting that candle again he disappeared two hours later he uh, was arose once more he then had to go down into the dining room and eat the christmas fish and porridge now again he have to go there and he have to have his meal and after that he have to come back and again and sleep so for that he have to get down uh, to the dining room to have his meal so he did that so till here today and next will be doing in our next session hope you understood thank you and have a nice day